Okay, in the next problem, again, it's definitely a quotient rule, and I know I said in the last video that uh, the first set of problems would not have the product rule, the quotient rule, the chain rule, but I guess I'm wrong. So here is a quotient rule, and there's not a whole lot that can be done, or there not anything that can be done to simplify before we start, so we just get started on the derivative. So we say f prime of x is low, which is 3x minus 1, d high, so the derivative of the numerator is just 1, minus high, which is x plus 2, d low, which is 3, and that all over 3x minus 1 quantity squared. Okay, so all the uh, differentiation is finished here we can simplify the numerator a little bit and we should do that. So the left side is just 3x minus 1. The right side is going to be minus 3x and minus 6. And that's all over 3x minus 1 squared. And you end up with negative 7 over 3x minus 1 quantity squared. Okay, so I'll scroll up to number 7. And in these three problems, we want to find the slope of the graph at the given value, which really just means we want the derivative of f of x when x is equal to the given value. And the first one is going to be f of x is equal to negative 3 over x squared. And that can be written as negative 3 x to the negative second, so that we can use the power rule with this. And so the derivative then is 6x to the negative third. We bring down the negative 2, multiply it times negative 3, and we get positive 6. We reduce the negative 2 by 1, and we get negative 3. If I wanted to write that with positive exponents, remember that the 6 does not go in the denominator. It's 6 over x to the third. And that would give me the answer for that one. We're going to do something similar with problem 8. We want to find the derivative and then evaluate that at x equals 1. Since here everything is already in its uh, simplified form, we can very simply find the derivative. And that becomes 9x squared plus 10x to the fourth a plus or minus 0 since the derivative of 5 is 0. And we're going to evaluate this at x equals 1. And so that gives us 9 plus 10, which is 19. And that's our final answer there. Now, I just realized that in problem 7, I found the derivative, but I didn't evaluate it at x equals 2. So I really need to do that at this point here. And so f prime of 2 is 6 over 2 to the third, which is 6 over 8, which comes out to be 3 over 4. And that, rather, is the final answer for that. Now we'll go on to do the same thing for uh, number 9. Now with number 9, you have 2 times the quantity 3x plus 1 squared. And that really should be expanded out. Uh, it might make things a little bit easier. Uh, we could also do that with the chain rule, which we've later learned. But I'll do it expanding it out the first time. And so rewriting f of x, we would get f of x is 2 times 9x squared plus 6x plus 1. And if I wanted to exp uh, distribute the 2, we'd have 18x squared plus 12x plus 2. Now, it may have been easier to find this using the chain rule in the end. And uh, maybe I'll do it that way as well. But for now, we can find the derivative of that polynomial. It's going to be 2 times 18, which is 36. 36x, that is, plus 12. Then evaluating that at 1, we would get 36 times 1, which is 36 plus 12 is 48, and that's the final answer. Now I'm going to do that using the chain rule without doing any simplification first. And so I would say the derivative is, bring down the 2, multiply by 2, I get 4, leave the inside alone, which is 3x plus 1, times the inside, which is 3, times the derivative of the inside, and it will give the